Hello everyone, this is Ragni, and we're playing Prinny. Can I really be the hero? Well, I guess we'll find out. So we have two difficulty settings here, Standard and Hell's Finest. The only difference between the two is that in Standard, you die after getting hit four times. In Hell's Finest, you die after one hit. If you don't mind, I'll play in Standard for now. the land into chaos and bloodshed. Among them are those whose corrupt spirits were once human. Prinnies. There is no flesh beneath their skin, only the souls of lifeless criminals. And to pay for their sins, they have been sentenced to a life of slavery. They are bound to serve day in, day out, until their sins are forgiven. This is the tale of one such day, toiling under a cruel demon lord. Ultra dessert by then. Well, you'll be begging me to let you explode. Capiche? Aye, aye, ma'am. You're the hero, dude. Dude, you're in charge from now on. Uh, why is there only this one scarf, dude? Don't worry, dude. If you go down, we'll just give it to whoever's next. We'll be cheering from the shadows, dude. Give it your pretty best, dude! So this is the hub. And right now, we can't really do much. Because every NPC is a ghost. Except this one. We're gonna talk to him. He's the tutorial manager, 
it gives you access to the two tutorial stages. Now normally when you start a new game you automatically play the first tutorial stage, but I cut it out because it's uninteresting. However, we are going to play the second one because there is a bunch of items we want to get. Here we go, dude! So, like in any good platformer, you can jump and double jump, you can attack with your little swords, if you attack in the air you can also do air slashes, which have a long range but are also slightly less powerful. You can also pound the ground with your butt, which is useful to stun enemies. That little thing that appeared here is a lucky doll. There are three lucky dolls hidden in almost every stage and you get rewarded for collecting them, which I will be doing. Now I can't get to that platform over there just by jumping, I have to run. You can run by maintaining the circle button to spin, pushing a direction and then releasing the circle button. What I just got was an orb. This is why we have to play this level. There are four or five orbs hidden in this level and each is used to revive an NPC in the hub. So at the bottom of the screen you can see a combo bar. Every time you pound on an enemy, this bar increases. When it's full, you get the item at the end of it. Usually it's just some food which gives you useless points, but sometimes you can actually get a life point back. Uh, the combo bar is instantly filled when you hit a checkpoint, which is that stone thing here. Now, something you might notice is that when you jump, you can't steer yourself in the air. This game plays like an old school platformer. If you've ever played a Ghosts and Goblins game, it works the same. This is usually what most people don't like about this game, but personally, I am fine with it. Uh, the levels are designed around this mechanic, and once you get used to it, it's not that hard. <laughs> Also, see how the camera angle changes when I attack in the air? It's useful to see where you're shooting, I guess, but personally, I don't really like that. I find it distracting. Fortunately, it can be disabled, and that's what I'll do for the next video. Now this is a bomb, it does what bombs do, it explodes. You have to be careful not to get caught in the explosions though, because it can hurt you too. Whoops, I almost fell here. And here is the last lucky doll. Oops. You have to stun them, otherwise they will run away. If a doll disappears, just walk away and come back. The doll will be there again. This scarecrow with the devil sign is telling us we're getting close to the boss. But there is one last orb over there. The nice thing about boss gates is that when you activate them you get all your life points back. Say hello to the first boss. It's just one of those flying imps with slightly more life. Just stun it, and he's pretty much dead. It's just a tutorial boss, don't worry. Actual bosses in the actual levels will be much harder than this. Do not get used to me getting an S rank, because I can't promise anything. Now that we have all these orbs, we can revive those NPCs. 
Every NPC has a unique function. This guy here is the record manager. He keeps a record of your time and your score in every level, as well as a bunch of other stuff. The collection shows you every item you collected. The Monsterpedia shows every monster you beat up with a funny little description that I will be posting in the thread. And finally, the Netherworld awards are basically achievements. This next guy is... The Runaway Manager. You can talk to him if you want to leave Etna's fortress and get your freedom back. In practical terms, it's a way to reset the game at the beginning of the story while keeping your data. We don't have the yellow orb yet, and we won't get it for quite a while actually. Same thing for that purplish guy. However, we do have the red orb. This is Professor Lucky. He collects Lucky Dolls. He also looks like a Lucky Doll. I don't know what's up with that. For every two Lucky Dolls you bring him, he has a reward. Most of the time, it's a special file which just adds another funny little text to a specific monster file in the Monsterpedia, but you will have other rewards later. This is the replay manager. Whenever you finish a level, or you just die, you can keep a replay of what you just did and watch it here. Finally, this guy is probably the most important of them all, is the save manager. He saves your game. So let's do that. This door is our way to the actual levels of the game. There are six available levels right now, and each one has a difficulty rating represented by these little stars at the bottom. Every time you finish a level, the difficulty of all the other stages increases. Those levels will have more enemies and a layout more difficult to navigate. Keep that in mind because you, my friends, are the one who will decide which level I should do first. Until then, goodbye.